Oh my god, it's September 1st and I'm literally cold as fuck. Like, it's so cold in my house. It's sunny out today, but like, I'm freezing. I got a sweatshirt on, a sweater ah, on underneath. I got my fuzzy pajama pants again. It's okay. I'll deal. What's up, buds? It's Jack Green Mama. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new. Glad you could make it today. Today, I'm gonna be making some special treats. You know what I mean. Today I'm gonna to be making some infused edible nerd ropes, if you will. I'm gonna be using some infused coconut oil. I just have it frozen here in this little like silicone ice tray. I made the coconut oil with my Levo machine. I have videos up on my TikTok too, also showing how I infuse butter and oil and whatnot. But it's super easy. Literally all you do is put like the herbs in like a little pod thing, activate the, put in the oil, butter, whatever you wanna infuse. And it does it all for you. You don't really have to do anything. And then you can just store it and save it for later. So yeah, gonna be making some infused nerd ropes today. I made some like last week and they were super good. So I'm gonna make them again for y'all today and maybe eat some and see if they work for me because edibles don't always work for me. But yeah, maybe I'll like post on my Instagram story to have you guys ask me some questions or something if they do kick in. But I think I should just get into it. Should I take a rip before? It does sound kind of good. Let me get my bomb really quick. <laughs> Got my bowl all loaded with some Blue Dream using this piece today. She's a little dirty, so don't mind her. <laughs> all right, cheers, homies. Oh yeah, I'm taking a hit in a couple of hours. <coughs> God, it tastes so good. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna take like one of the cubes of my coconut oil. I could have mentioned this before. You can make your own infused coconut oil and infused butter, obviously. Like on your own, you don't need the Levo machine. You can like maybe look it up on the internet because I haven't done it by myself before without the machine. I'm pretty sure it's easy. It's just not as simple as using the Levo machine. But yeah, I got infused coconut oil. So I'm gonna take one of these cubes and melt it first in the microwave because these are completely frozen. If I can get one out. I got it though. I got it. Come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Got the infused coconut cube in there. <laughs> All right, let's melt her up. Starting off with like 30 seconds. I don't know, it might not be long enough. Just go till it's completely melted. Okay, I got her melted for the most part. There's still some little pebbles in there, but it's okay because we're gonna add gummy bears to it. So, got a big thing of Haribo gold bears. They're not even called gummy bears, what the fuck? Kids and grown-ups love it, so the happy world of Haribo. Huh, well, yeah, gonna open up the gummy bears. I did a horrible job at that, how huh, bear? Oh my god, they smell delicious. I love gummy bears. I bought gummy bears a couple of weeks ago, and I ate so many that I woke up at like 3 a.m. and I threw them all up. But they were so good. You know, just adding some gummy bears. Go! Okay, it doesn't work now, but you guys get the idea. I don't really know how much. I'm gonna go with like that much for now. Sure. And then pop them in the microwave. I'm gonna do like 30 seconds. Okay, yeah, they're they're melted. So now we're just gonna stir them up. I can already tell I'm gonna have to add more gummy bears because there's a lot more oil in here than bears. You want it like pretty gooey, you know? You don't want it liquidy, so. <sighs> it won't break, there's like a line right here. Oh great, now it's stuck on me. I think I got it, okay. I'm gonna add a lot more bears, like. You guys see that? Yeah, oh. Yeah, like a lot more. Maybe like a little bit more even. Yeah, let's do that. <coughs> Dang it, a wasted bear on the floor. Ooh, it's smelling weedy. <laughs> I think I might add even more bears in. But that's good because more bears equals more ropes. So that's good, that's good. I'm gonna add a little bit more bears. Mmm, yummy. <coughs> Add in more bears, cause why not? This is how much we're up to. It's okay though. <coughs> All right, now we're at 
pretty much where we want. There's like maybe a couple of bears in there that aren't completely melted, but they'll get there as I'm stirring. So yeah, this is good. And that'll like harden up and be all gooey and gummy, you know? Okay, so gonna put that to the side for now. And now I'm pulling out this glass pan. It's not a pan dish dish and i got some wax paper and what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna take like little squares of wax paper you know and i'm just gonna line them up or no those are like rectangles those are definitely not squares i'm just gonna line them up on the pan like this and like little u-shaped forms you know just all along they're not gonna fit in there perfectly at least they don't in mine but i make it work <laughs> i'm sure there's like little like strommels or something you can get or maybe even like actual molds for this to make it easier but i just have wax paper this is what i do for now <laughs> and it works Last time, however, I don't think I used enough nerds because I did have like, I did have problems getting the ropes off of the wax paper. They were really sticky. I'm just gonna try to lay more nerds down this time before I pour the gummy bears over, you know? Now I got my nerds candies, rainbow ones, and I'm just gonna line here. Let me try to show you guys without having like a terrible angle, you know? Okay, so see, I have like my wax paper all lined up. Here's one little slit. Just gonna take my nerds and line it up. Oh, they got nerds going everywhere, but yep, it's all lined up with nerds and I'm just gonna do that for all of the wax papers. Okay, ah, I'm making a mess. And I'm actually gonna put these back in the microwave for like 30 more seconds, just so they're super melty. All right, so the gummy bears are really melted now. So literally all I do now is I just take my gummy bears and I just pour it right over the nerds really gently. Oh, that was a lot in one spot. <laughs> this It's kind of tricky, but you kind of just gotta make it work. Now those are all covered. And now I'm just gonna put some more nerds on top. And I kind of try to like roll them up a little bit too as I'm doing this so that they get more nerds on them, you know? Okay, and now I have room for more. So yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna make some more now. And then after, I'm just gonna set them in the fridge for probably like 20 minutes, just so they can harden up a little bit. And then I'll try them out with y'all. I know they're gonna be so good. They were bomb last time, so I'm hella excited. I'm gonna try to make a bunch because my parents are going out of town this weekend to celebrate my aunt's birthday and they wanna be able to bring some with them to get lit you know so gonna try to make a bunch okay i think it's been about like 45 minutes now look at that that's like where it was laid down i think and like you can tell there was not that many nerds there so i'll perfect it more it was kind of hard to get off the wax paper but i made it work um i'm not getting good they're really nerdy <laughs> Actually, well, I like them. I'm gonna try to eat two of these and see if they hit. It's like 4.30 right now. I'll check then. Uh, I can't even talk. I'll check back in in like an hour. Or so, yeah. Few moments later. Guys, I think they actually worked for once. I mean, not for once. Edibles have worked in the past, but it's been like an hour. Like I did, I'm not gonna lie, I took a bong rip like 10 minutes ago, but like I ate them about, are you kidding me? Somebody's home right now. Are you kidding me? More moments later. I got my nails done. <laughs> yeah, my mom came home and then she asked me if I wanted to go get my nails done. So I mean like, <coughs> duh. Aren't they cute? But um, yeah. 
I just took a bomb drip because before I went to go get my nails done, I was feeling it, you know, from those nerd ropes. I was like, oh yeah, I'm bummed. Let's go, let's answer some questions. Cause like I posted on my Instagram story waiting for these eddies to hit, send me some questions. But then I left, I left UC for like about an hour and I was like, well, like, I mean, I still feel kind of, but like, mm. so. <coughs> I just took a bong rip and I can't recover. Since I'm feeling kind of boned again, I think I'm gonna answer the questions now that I had planned for earlier. These were from my Instagram, like I said. <coughs> First one, let us know when they hit you, sis. And they hit me like about an hour after I ate them. That was like an hour and a half ago, I think. What's the best form to enjoy milk? cooked like in a fucking cookie do cookies even take milk i don't think so i don't like milk so i guess like chocolate milk i do like chocolate milk but like just like pure milk no i don't like that like i would rather eat cereal with like a fork you know so i can strain out all that milk but so that i don't have like hard crunchy cereal you know but the milk softens it up i hate when there's too much milk on my spoon Ugh. so yeah probably chocolate milk what is your mood right now What's my favorite toilet paper brand? I think Charmin. Is Charmin the one with the bears? I don't know, but we honestly don't really get Charmin. We get Costco. And I like Costco. Costco does good. Go Kirkland. How many little monkeys do you think are controlling one big gorilla? Okay, well, let's say I am a gorilla. So here's one monkey. Here's another monkey. That's two monkeys. Another monkey. That's three monkeys. If you can hear my parents, don't mind them. I'm gonna talk louder. One leg is a monkey. Another leg is a monkey. So that's two monkeys right there. One, two, three, four, five. I think there are five little monkeys controlling one big gorilla. That's my conclusion. Thank you, Caroline, for the good questions. What is your least favorite strain of weed? My least favorite strain of weed? I have one. I have one. I got it from my plug a couple of weeks ago. When I was staying home alone, keep in mind, I was home alone for a week and I was smoking this strain and I'd go to bed and it made me paranoid as fuck. GMO? That shit got me fucked up. I took down some notes titled, GMO is making me paranoid. And these are the thoughts that I was having as I was trying to go to bed home alone high on gmo first one not me getting so paranoid that i think of a scenario where i fight off an intruder and stab them <gasps> which leads to years of therapy and then my future husband having to cut all meat when i cook like i want to cook a steak up but i can't cut it because i'm like oh, it gives me ptsd from the time that i had to stab the intruder or if i want to cut up i don't know i don't know my future husband has to do that that'd be awful that'd be awful because i may or may not have a kitchen knife under my bed to keep me safe but um anyways second one my cat was meowing chino you guys know chino little precious angel kind of shithead sometimes though he was meowing at like 5 a.m like a lot so much oh my god meow 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 like 5 a.m why why do you do that to me gino is meowing because i'm gonna get stabbed or an earthquake is gonna happen because you guys know how like animals oh my god i'm sorry about my parents you guys know how like animals have like instincts they can sense things you know like a natural disaster or something i was like what if he's being sus right now because he can sense that like an earthquake is gonna happen or like that something bad is gonna happen, like me getting stabbed. And I was like, it's definitely not because he wants food because that's when Chino gets fed. That's when my mom usually feeds him. We're around that time, like 5 a.m. to 7, I feel like he gets his num nums. Yeah, that's probably what he wanted because he's a chonky cat. So yeah, that's probably it. GMO, not a fan. I think that's it. I think that's all I got to give. Made nerd ropes, tried them out answered some questions even though i'm kind of post nerd ropes high and just bomb rip high i think now i don't know i don't know but i'm like really high for some reason maybe i still am pretty high from the nerd ropes i think i'm gonna go eat some more i love you all stay safe make good choices and i'll see you in the next one Mwah. 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 <laughs> Smoke weed every day.